popular local summer event that celebrates all things tomato is canceled. Eyewitness News reporter Logan Westrope is live tonight in Pittston with more. Logan. Hi, good evening, Mark. Yes, the Tomato Festival, which draws thousands of people here to downtown Pittston, will be closed due to COVID-19 as that decision has just been made. All of the data that's out there right now said to us, um, you know, let's, let's, let's do the smart thing and let's do the safest thing and the safest thing is to cancel. What would have been the 37th year of the Pittston Tomato Festival will not go on as scheduled. Eyewitness News spoke to Lombardo back in June as many events were already deciding to cancel. The Pittston Tomato Festival was still planning to find a way to hold the event safely. However, now with COVID-19 numbers going up, Lombardo says the public's health is top priority. We just felt like that we, we couldn't get a level of absolute comfort. Um, and, I, and I think the word absolute is important. Uh, I, I'm not willing to, as the mayor of the city, take a risk with one person. Lombardo says even downsizing the event wouldn't have been a good idea, as there are still so many entrance points that would have been difficult to control. And as for the vendors, he says many of them were aware of the risk of keeping it open and have been supportive of the decision to cancel. While the events draw a lot of business to the area, local business owners stand with the chair board's decision. Ultimately, I think it was the best decision. Um, I know the committee works tirelessly on putting this together every year. Um, the vendors need ample time to get all their stuff ready and ordered. It's a good thing because they had 37 good years and uh, the, the counts are going up a little bit. You don't want to take a chance. We're bummed out. Even my boys bummed out over there. Look at them. But uh, it's, it's better to be safe than sorry. And our, our mayor always makes the right decisions on, the, on these things. You know, he wanted to do it. He tried. Now, this Friday, an art walk will be held, and Lombardo says that that will really determine whether they're able to hold a beer and wine event that comes for this fall. Reporting live tonight in Pittston, Logan Westrope, Eyewitness News. Disappointing news, but certainly understandable, Logan. Thanks.